Hi there, welcome to my new series called Strange Discoveries and Things You May Have Missed, and for my first episode I will be talking about one of my favorite games, Half-Life, so get comfortable while we talk about some strange discoveries and things you may have missed about Half-Life 1. And just so you know, this will be things I personally have discovered or missed, so while you may have been able to find a secret cache of weapons and health, I may have had a little more trouble finding it. And if someone discovers something really strange, I may include it in this video and, and credit them, of course. I will also not be talking about G-Man sightings since that's probably been done to death at this point. In everyone's favorite chapter, On a Rail, you can hear some sounds that the only time they are heard again is in the map right before the Nile at this chamber. The maps in question are C2A2B1. In C2A2B2. The Zen map is C4A1F. Here are the sounds with no interference, and if you want to hear them for yourself, I will put the directory on screen. What I like about this is how it really drives the horror aspect home, though I only knew about the honor rail portion and not the zen one. The guy who found that is... Andre Filippi. Sorry if I butchered your name, but check out his video for more information on the zen portion. Speaking of honor rail, I swear this is the last time I will talk about the level. Near the end of the level, you launch a rocket in hopes of reducing the effects of the resonance cascade, but did you know that the room with the hologram with the spinning globe is actually living? Well, kind of. I asked Morphe Black about this on Twitter. Shout out to Morphe Black, by the way, he makes really great videos about Half-Life. He said that the SAT underscore globe model in the launch center is simply set up as a cycler entity which lacks any special handling features. You can also shoot the rocket engine in the silo from the chapter blast pit to make it bleed black and white. He also included this image below. In my personal favorite chapter, Surface Tension, you will encounter tanks that will attempt to kill you, but ultimately fail. One of the tanks, known as a Bradley, can be destroyed using a crowbar. Actually, all tanks can, but this one is special. You see, if you stand on here, for whatever reason you will get teleported to here, and cannot move or die unless you no-clip or reload a quick save. In the chapter Apprehension, Gordon is knocked out and put into trash compactor, but did you know that those trash compactors are actually funk underscore trains, and you can even make them reverse, or even stop in place, so crisis averted for Gordon Freeman. If you want to test this out for yourself, the map name is C2A3E, but you will have to spawn in a weird place, so you'll have to no-clip out of there, so there's no way to get around cheating for that one. Did you know in Unforeseen Consequences, it is possible to save this scientist's life? It is very simple, actually. In the map C1A1F, you can just run up to the scientist and press interact on him, and he won't fall to his death. And also, you can jump right here and here, and you'll actually land without taking any damage. You'll just have to hit the slope. I will now demonstrate.
Unfortunately, though, he won't follow you, but he will act like a regular scientist and heal you if you're injured. Also, shooting him or hitting him will make the scene play out and he'll fall to his death. But why would you hurt a defenseless scientist like that, you monster? Bonus inclusion. Here's a uh, bonus inclusion for you before I end the video. In the chapter Office Complex, if you were to get all the guards and the scientists into the room before the elevator shaft, it would look like this. Like the scientists in unforeseen consequences. They can't go any farther, so that sucks. Thank you all for watching, and in the next one, I will either cover Ravenfield or Half-Life 2. And also, you can recommend a game for me to cover, although I do have to own the game first and will have, have to play it. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.